Hello everyone, um, we're back with more Yakuza, Like a Dragon, and um, yeah, we're on part two, I think, of this, so we're gonna go ahead. I don't know, I forgot, what, what are we doing? Oh, we have um, our call here. Come on. Let's get, let's get out of here. Are we going? Oh, we're gonna go see if we have, or if pecking duck is available. I remember now. Oh. Well, they're closed. Uh, seriously? Hey, you guys open? We need Pinky! Stop! Relax, Chibang. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it, though. <laughs> Another time. I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. But he won't get away from us next time! <laughs> <laughs> Have a good New Year's, you two! Ichiban, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. Okay. Let's... We're gonna go somewhere else, I guess. I think my cat's throwing up outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Now what's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off. Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day, you won't be able to go back, you know. Twenty-three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. My mom worked at Soaplands. He even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say Dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the Soapland that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham-bam thank you, ma'am. Can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here, Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. I was raised by this city's working class folks. Mans was born in a soap land. <laughs> According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. 
Well, I suppose that would make me scum, too. What? N never! You're everything I want to be! You're like a god! <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. staring at that cigarette? Like, so intently. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights. Shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy, a Yakuza. So yeah, his crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. I thought if I name dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? A kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Oniki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. <gasps> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right then. Let's go, yellow shit. Uh, I... What? You... you saved my life. Why? How can I think... Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to return you, the whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, 
I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! <laughs> How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now! Come on. Sir! It'd been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san. And that Odin is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. Two thousand and one. Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. Hey, stop it. Who You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Hey! A new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Mm -hmm. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on, are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look, he's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. <laughs> you fuckers better not be making fun of us! Hey boss, leave this to me! It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. Well, that's a... Uh, <clears throat> Just wait till you see what I can do. I am um, level 71, so I don't know. <laughs> Scared? Cool. 122 critical hit. There we go. <laughs> Who is 
is this guy? He's crazy. He's you crazy. Okay, <laughs> Get away from me! Why is she running, hey, man? Come on, at least thank the boss. It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah, I get it. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> you too. Man, he's such a badass. <laughs> now, I wouldn't mind another drink. Okay, 2001. Sir, you have to wake up. Oh, wake up <laughs> now. <laughs> he fell asleep on the, <sighs> on the bench. Oh, shit. Fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see identification? Definitely not. Uh, identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. Oh. <clears throat> shit. Well, it's gone. Uh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now. I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. Getting a call. Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning, Yuji. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No, just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. Oh no, something bad happened. Cops everywhere. A lot of officers out here and on a holiday. Oh yeah, that one cop said there'd be a crime or something. Our cops son said to be inconspicuous. Guess I should take the back streets. Yes sir, take the back streets. Don't mind me bumping into that one guy. Oh, oh. Hold up. What family you from? Oh, okay. Arakawa. And don't you forget it. Oh, yeah, asshole? How about you don't forget your place? Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you? The Sakaki family, dumbass! The Sakaki family. I'm up on your level, you scared? Cool. Oh, yeah! yeah. Do a skill. Check this out. Come on now. Yeah. Check this out. Oh, okay. Fuck you. You're 
You're gonna regret this! Fuck you! <laughs> what the hell was that about? Probably nothing. We've always got some kind of beef with the Sakaki going on. Oh shit, that took a while. Gotta head into the office. It's me, Ichiban. Boss? Good morning. Oh, Ichi. Have a seat. Sit in the dark. Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. You know the Sakagi family, right? You mean the family we've been fighting with? Hmm. We're fighting them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. But aren't the Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. They're much bigger than most people realize. The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's a bitter rivalry. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason. But they have been selling intel to the Omi for some quick, easy cash. <sighs> I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. But their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Bastard traitor. Long story short, they don't like us much right now. But at the same time, they still report directly to our main family. So we need to be careful. We don't want to cause the main family any trouble. That said... Did something happen? Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. He... He shot a Sakaki Yakuza. Really? Apparently, he just happened to run into one of them. They were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then, Joe pulled his gun. Luckily, no one saw them. But the police have already found the other guy's body. It's only a matter of time before they raid our office. <sighs> if word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. We'll be expelled from the Tojo clan, and our tiny family will go up in smoke. You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. Ichi, would you be willing to take his place? Are you serious, boss? I mean... I've been waiting for a shot like this. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Ichi. Oh no. He's going to be in jail now. Hope getting a call. Happy birthday. 
Hey, me too. Thanks. Good job surviving another year. <laughs> we made it to a new century. Oh, yeah. Guess so. Damn, you sound pretty bored for a birthday boy. What's up with you? Hey, you going to your first shrine visit of the year? How about we do Kamaro again? You do it, and have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? Why not? Something came up. Did Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, Your year's no. barely begun, and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 365 days a year. So you're gonna be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20, if you really want to know. Why? So in 10 years, you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? Just eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Uh, you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. For my last meal, let's go with the beef bowl. Well then. Move, sir. <clears throat> I'm still getting over like a kind of like a cold. So it's like, oh, they're really pregnant. I miss all those prompts. But yeah, I don't know why I have <coughs> a cold for. Oh, it's this place right here. We're gonna get that ramen bowl or whatever this is. One more. Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Another beef bowl. It pains me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have merely expelled you. But this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished... Doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. <laughs> Let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the can. <laughs> this man wants to go to jail for this other one. Come on, eat another one. Wait, what is this? His fifth one? Damn, he's not gonna eat another one. He doesn't have enough money. You gotta savor every last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. <laughs> enough stalling. Come back soon. No more secrets. <laughs> Buddy, did you ever find your wallet? 
Well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. We find the defendant, Ichiban Kasuga, guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison. Kasuga's getting 15 years. Oh, we're saving. Cool. There we go. This is going to chapter two? Yes, it does. <clears throat> oh my god. Why is it so bright outside, man? 2002 Hey, Mr. Box So, you're gonna... <laughs> Sir, I've completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. <sighs> no, they're gonna go after him. He didn't want to put the chopsticks in the wrappers. Oh no. So, we're in the yard as he used to be Tojo Clan. Think you can be the perfect little prisoner and get back on the outside quick and easy? <laughs> Idiot, you're a murderer. You could act like a goddamn angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. <laughs> Not much to say, huh? Hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right. The Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after-school club of a family? Oh, man, this is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. <laughs> what did you just say? I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone fucking soft now. Oh, no. You got locked up for that washed-up has-been, and you think it means something. Oh, that's so fucking cute. Buster, I'll kill you. <laughs> Try your best, little bitch. Now he's in isolation. Bread. And I'm assuming that's milk. Bread and milk. Why'd you suddenly fight back? Oh. You took it for a whole year. Okay, so he's got his sentence extended. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. 
They were talking shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody, saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. Oof. And that bread, that bread animation is great. I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. <laughs> but if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. Number 1119. Letter for you. Bro, they're so scared Apparently of him. Apparently it's from someone important. <gasps> it's from Harakawa-san. Dear Ichiban, I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. <laughs> the days have been so lonely without you. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. Yes, 2019 gets out of prison. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. An extra three years I made you wait just because I did something stupid! I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now! I'm finally back! Uh... Oh... <laughs> oh, lady. <sighs> Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything. You 
really thought the welcome wagon was coming. Oh no, Adachi. Of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, only natural you'd be a bit mixed up. <laughs> Gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you've got, waiting for a boss that never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa Police. A detective? I uh, used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, the murderer who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Ah, well. Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence. Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamarocho after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La Soapland. The owner, Jiro Kasuga, took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Tojo clan's Arakawa family. Well, till the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamaro Police Station. Then sentenced to 15 years at this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow. You're my biggest fan for sure. You want an autograph to show your DMV friends? I just do my homework. Great. Whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh, paying a visit to the Arakawa family? It ain't none of your business. Just leave me alone. Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What? Whatever. Do what you want, man. Man, he looks so confused. He, he's confused. Oh. <laughs> uh, miss, I don't want to insult you, but... Uh, uh, what did you do to my hair? I tried. It's just when you asked for a punch, Perm, I had to look it up. The, the truth is, I've never done one before. Uh, how am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? <laughs> Thought she's laughing. <laughs> Look at you going for, man. Oh. Shut up! I just ended up with a bad barber is all. The hell's your deal anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you that I have business with you. But I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? You're creeping me out, man. Give me a break. Okay, so Adachi is just gonna follow him around until he becomes part of the party. Uh, I wondered where you were. 
going. Chief Kao Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Okay, so... Who killed him? You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this, then. Why'd you kill him? I've been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I, I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. <laughs> what are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? Nah, you ain't that immature. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. Why do you even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Suzumori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet, you turned yourself in to save your family. I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, the jurors. Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why are you still lying? Who really killed him? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. Well, you're a big pain in my ass. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit an ex-con. Who are you really? What the hell's your angle here, man? My angle. <laughs> well? is Arakawa-san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. <laughs> if you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through! Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on, get out of here! I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! No, oh, no, we're gonna do a battle. Yep. Getting away with this? Oh, you want some more? Enough! Kasuga! Hey, fellas, we're sorry, okay? Well, my friend here, he's. he's a little crazy, that's all. What the hell you say about me? Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Let go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss! Boss! Horikawa-san! It's me! I got out today! It's Ichiban! Ichiban Kasuga! He recognized me. You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? Uh, no way! 
He didn't forget me. I mean, shit. He sent me a letter in prison. I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go, and his eyes, too. Well, he definitely heard you. Pretty sure your eyes met, too. No, he didn't! I understand it's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way! I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave. And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah. All I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here, and... Hey. Look at that. He's, uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Listen here, old-timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> the Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What are you talking about? That can't be true. I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third-string family in the Tojo clan. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the oh city man, of I'm crime. Like, I was eating he started with targeted seeds. attacks on all Tojo sources no, of dying. funding. He called it the Kamuracho 3K plan. The hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. 3Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza oh, families no. with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. Huh? Ugh, that shouldn't come as a surprise. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel. From the Arakawa family. Basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, he wouldn't! <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of the Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but you had to find out sooner or later. Don't let it get you down. It had nothing to do with you. 
You okay? You feeling all right? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, didn't think so. Harakawa-san defecting to the Omi? The Tojo oh, plan no. is gone? Kasuga, you calm oh, down. You're a fucking terrible liar! Oh, shit. So you don't believe me? No way in hell it went down like that! Harakawa-san was like the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! He was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't Arakawa-san! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed to recognize him? Now that I think about it, that guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa-san would wear! <sighs> you do recall the men you fought identified themselves as Arakawa, yeah? I... We must have misheard him! Where are you taking me anyway? This isn't the way to Kamurocho! We're going to Yokohama. What? No, I need to get to Kamurocho! I told you, there's nothing for you there. Now come with me to Yokohama. As I've said, the two of us have business to attend to. Enough mystery! What business? An investigation. You are gonna help me with it. Oh, fuck off! Why should I help you with anything, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture, my jurisdiction. Now calm down, and let's have some peace and quiet, hmm? You know what? Stop the car right now, or else I'll fuck you up! Hey, Kasuga! If you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Like any dirty cop, you're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? I can see right through you, fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? But I guess there's no cure for stupid. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? Where do you think you're going? <sighs> Kamrocho, obviously! Were you even listening to he's me? Gonna, he's gonna walk down you the highway really to Kamrocho. You need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're a Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison. Oh, you are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamrocho waiting for me. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya. I promise, Kasuga. There's nothing left for you in Kamrocho. Oh, damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself. Okay, we're gonna go back to Kamrocho. Oh no, who's that on the screen? Uh oh. What the hell was that? <laughs> He's looking at all the smartphones. He doesn't know what it is. Huh? Vaping. Is that a cigarette? <laughs> doesn't know what's going on. He's so confused. It's really calmer chill, but everything's so different now. First things first, I need to stop by the office. The office? Let's go by the office. Why is there enemies? Oh. Yeah. 
No more enemies. into the office. This is it, isn't it? Oh, it looks empty, Kasuka. Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? <laughs> office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar, it was a computer store. Before that, it was a maid cafe, and before that, a Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A family? Not a family family. I... A Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who does it. They're a huge, famous family. Really? Oh, finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. <sighs> Not sure. In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. <laughs> he said... He, oh my God. he said finally made it big oh it's literally a dachi told him in the omi kasuka come on come on man we're gonna go ahead and stop here for today and um see y'all in the next video but first we're gonna go ahead and save obviously